Hello, what is up guys? It's Evil Duos Arm here, I'm back with another Blade & Soul video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to download the new NC launcher from Blade & Soul's website so that you don't completely mess up your computer. If you've looked around on forum topics or in my Discord or probably anywhere on the internet, you've been seeing people saying that the new NC launcher completely screws their game and to stay away from it. So I figured I would make a video showing me installing it to show you how to do it without completely screwing your game over. So as I'm sure you're aware by now, if you double click on the Blade & Soul icon here, you're going to get a box that pops up saying that a new version of the launcher is available. Click confirm to install the new version. So some people have issues where this links you over to the old download page and you end up downloading the old file and it ends up deleting your install or ruining your install. And you either have to completely reinstall Blade & Soul or you have to go even further and get rid of files on your computer or system restore windows as some people have said that they've had to do. So we want to avoid this, so don't even try and launch Blade & Soul from your main page. Instead, we're going to go directly to the NCSoft website and find the correct page. So if you head over to bladeandsoul.com en, this is the English site, there's the EU version obviously as well, but on the English site, there is the main NC launcher now live over here. So if you see this in the middle of your screen, it's on this first tab. So go ahead and click the learn more option. Now you can do the game and download game, but that just downloads a random launcher. So don't do that one. As you can see down here, I had two of them pop up in the bottom left of my screen. Actually, I don't know if my webcam's covering it, but that's why I have a downloads bar. I tried clicking the download game button to hop over there and it just starts downloading a random launcher. I don't know which launcher that is, so don't even risk it. You wanna make sure you head over to this page right here, the new NC launcher for Blade and Soul now available. When you get here, it's gonna show you what the new launcher looks like and wow, pretty colors. But the big takeaway from this is that you want to make sure that it opens up on this page that you see right here. So this welcome to the new NC launcher. If you downloaded Blade & Soul previously, or if you remember downloading Blade & Soul previously, you will see that this was the old screen, the old splash screen. And they, if you download from this one, this is what causes the issues. So make sure you are going to the correct launcher page. So to do that, click this little icon link right here, and I'm going to control click it to open it in a new tab. So this is the new NC launcher website. And it's pretty simple what you've got to do. Just go ahead and click download. Once again, make sure nothing on Blade & Soul is running. If you go to your task manager, look through that. Make sure you don't have any Blade & Soul files open at any given time. Look through the processes. Look through the details. If you have anything related to Blade & Soul, the XGen code, make sure you disable the task. Get rid of the task. Keep it off. So I'll come back when the Blade & Soul launcher is done downloading. So the launcher is finished, it's over here on the left side. If I go ahead and click on it, you can't see it because my webcam's there, but it's gonna go ahead and launch this setup.exe thing here. So this is the NC launcher setup. As you can see already, it is the new looking icon as opposed to the old one. It's got the same splash screen that we had right here. So that's how you know you have the right one. Another thing you wanna make sure before you go through this is that your old install files of Blade & Soul all have the original file names and they are in the original file path. If they are in a different path from where you installed it originally, or if you dragged it around or moved it around, this could also cause issues with the new launcher. You might have problems. So make sure that everything's still named Blade and & Soul and that they're all in the same place. I also have no idea if BNS Buddy will impact this install file, so be careful with using BNS Buddy. My advice would just be to take it off. I don't use BNS Buddy, so I have no idea how it actually interacts with the Blade & Soul client. I would rather not risk it personally, but hey, up to you. But anyway, it's going to tell you that if you already have Blade & Soul on your computer, it's going to find it. If not, then it's not going to do anything, and it's just going to reinstall the entire game. So all you got to do is click Install at this point. So as the progress bar reaches its completion, it's going to ask you to pick your language. So pick whatever language is your predominant language, and you can just go ahead and hit your Next button all the way through it, agree to the Terms of Service, and Accept. So this part right here is actually a little bit important, or I guess pretty important. I need to make sure that I drop this file into the same location that Blade & Soul is already in as well. So if I go ahead and look at my C drive and navigate all the way to the actual location that this has picked out, you'll see that my Blade & Soul install file is located in that file, so I'm okay to go ahead and put that in there. So make sure that this file path matches where you're heading to install your actual launcher. So go ahead and click install at this point and it's going to look and hopefully identify Blade & Soul or else this video is going to be a complete waste and then I'll be making a Rage video instead after. So at this point, after it's gone through that, it's going to say completing the NC Launcher 2 setup, run NC Launcher 2 now. So go ahead and hit finish and it's going to launch the new launcher. So new launcher is going to pop up here in a second. And the launcher will run an auto update thing as it initially begins its first launch. But at this point, you're going to be prompted to make your login to the, your NCSoft account. So go ahead and log in here. And after you log in, you're going to see your Blade & Soul thing right here. And it's going to pop up saying your game has been installed and is ready to play. So all is right with the Cosmos. You can just hit start game and you will fire right up. So after you click the start game the first time, it's gonna show you an update option. Go ahead and update. It's installing two gigs into whatever drive you originally had this in. These two gigs are all of the different languages that the game comes in. 
So you want to make sure that you let this run to completion. It's not installing, it's not screwing up your game, it's just installing all the different languages. Even though you told this that you only speak English or whatever language you picked, it's still going to put them all in there. So let this run to completion as well before you continue on playing the game. So anyway, after that is finished, you are all set to go ahead and hop into the game. So just go ahead and hit start game to begin the actual game. Just a thing of note, you will notice that the old Blade and Soul icon has been replaced. So we have the new Blade and Soul icon, as well as the new NC Launcher 2 that pops up as well. Um, but yeah, basically all you gotta do is click start game to get the game rolling. Anyway guys, I do hope you found this video useful. I hope it helps you to install the new client. As you may or may not know, April 17th, you will no longer be able to launch using the old launcher. So you're going to have to make this update. So I really want to make it as easy as possible for you to figure out how to do this so you don't end up corrupting your game file or corrupting your computer. But if you did find this video useful, make sure to leave a like, check out some of the other videos on the channel, and please consider subscribing if you're not already, as it does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next video. Peace.